Hello everybody, it's Jeff here again with AZ Camera Reviews. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about this NLX juice box that I bought about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, it's been a really good charger, or it was a really good charger when NLX was still supporting it. A while back, I got an email that said that they were no longer gonna support their chargers in the United States so I'm having a lot of problems with it charging my car. Sometimes it charges it, sometimes it doesn't charge it. But the car allows uh, the charger to turn on and turn off at a specific time. So here in Arizona, our charge times are between 11 o'clock at night and 5 a.m. in the morning. So it gives about a six hour window. But sometimes the charger won't kick on at the right time even though the car is sending it a signal to start charging it won't charge so i needed something a little more reliable so i decided i was going to buy this this is a evd evidence level 2 portable electric charger the thing that's great about this one is i can bring it with me because it's totally portable and the thing is it's it's 40 amps it has to plug into you know, one of these, one of these big sockets over here, like, um, like a dryer socket or something like that. Let me unplug this. That looks something like this. And it has to plug into that. And it's really portable. Like I said, it's 40 amps. It's outdoor compliant. It will work with a app, which I'll show you later. So I'll tell you what, it's hot out here. It's about 109 degrees today. Let's go inside. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And then we'll talk about it. So this is the EV Dance level two charger. It's a 40 amp level two charger. And we're gonna open it up now, see what's inside the box. So this is how it looks inside the box and right here is a QR code and that has the serial number and everything that you're going to need for the registration once you open up the app. So let's just lift it out of the box and this is it. It says EV Dance. It's a nice little case. It's portable. It's kind of like made out of Cordura. It seems to be semi-rugged. Let's open up the the case, okay, and this is what it looks like inside the case. Okay, and let's pull it out. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so the first thing I notice is it's a nice heavy cable. Let's see what else we got in here. We've got an EV Dance instruction manual uh, with the smart charger. Talks about the smart charger. And these are the two books that come with it. Then here is a, this is to, I guess, mount it to the wall. Comes with some screws and stuff like that so you can screw this to the wall and you can plug your charger into there okay just kind of put this aside now let's open up this is where it plugs into your car and that's that's the front it's a uh, 1772 and then this is the piece you can mount the actual box on the wall. Okay, let's take this, this wrapping paper off so I can show you what it looks like. And this is what the control box looks like. And as I said, you can set it in here and you can mount it on the wall. 
Okay. We'll take all this plastic off later and I'll show you uh, what it looks like. And then, let's pull this off. And here's your plug. So, this is everything. Everything's falling all over the place. And um, I'm going to get it all cleaned up. Take off all this packing material. I'll show you how the app works and everything else. And we'll be back in a little bit. So now I've shown you what's inside the box and it's time to do the installation. What we're going to do first is we're going to remove this NLX juice box, which isn't very good anymore. And I'm going to install the holder for the actual charger and the actual uh, charging handle for the charger itself. So we'll be back as soon as I get that stuff installed. Okay, so now I have the actual bracket on the wall for the, the actual control box. And I also have the bracket on the wall for the, uh, for the plug. And now what we'll do is we will put this in its bracket. We'll plug it in and energize it. And there it is, it's energized. Now what we'll do is we'll hang this on the wall, like so, plug it in like this. Okay, now everything is, is in place. And now all I have left is just to pair my cell phone, which I'm shooting on right now, with the actual box, and then I'll show you what happens afterwards. So this is what the first page of the app looks like when you open it up and you'll notice the voltage the uh, power is blank because right now the car is not connected the um, energy and what hours is zero because i haven't charged the car and the charging duration um, is zero as well because i haven't charged the car now i set the uh, charging uh, current to 35 amps. Uh, my car charges at about uh, 31. And, um, and as you can see, it says that the car is unconnected. That's because I don't have the plug plugged into the side of the car. Now, once you connect the car, it'll say connected down in that gray area where it says unconnected now. So now if you go uh, into the app a little further, it'll show you the connection status on your uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I have both the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi on now, and it says that the Wi-Fi is connected. Um, you can configure that by pushing that and entering your Wi-Fi and your password. I set my maximum current, like I said, at 35. And um, you can see the charging mode is uh, plug and charge. The electricity price, you can put that on there and it'll calculate how much you spent um, on your last charge. Uh, the other share with families about the charger firmware, I'll leave that up to you. Then you have your charging mode and you can confirm that um, and I have mine on plug and charge and this is what the actual charger looks like when it's lit up at night and then you can go into your charging schedule by clicking on the charging mode and preset it by hitting plan, which is right in the center of your screen. That'll take you to this uh, schedule setting and you can see what mine is set for presently. And this is how you set it up. So that's basically how this app works. And now let's plug it in and 
see what's going on. So now I have it paired with the cell phone. The only thing left is to unhook it, take it off the wall, and bring it over here to my vehicle and plug it in. And I'm ready to go. Everything's ready. We're ready to go. So the car's been charging overnight and we're ready to take it out for a ride. The car charged like it was supposed to and the system worked really, really well. I like the feel of the actual charging plug. It's got a nice thick wire on it and it also has a nice cover. Now, this can be used outdoors because it's IP66 rated, which is really, really awesome. So you don't have to worry about, you know, excess water or rain or that type of thing. You also can monitor your current, your voltage, and your power. And you can also start and stop it from your cell phone. You can schedule charging, which is what I do with mine here in Arizona. I'm able to charge from 11 o'clock at night till five o'clock in the morning, which is really, really great. And you can set all those parameters up in the charger, or some people have it where it sets up on their car. The other thing is, is it's 40 amp and it's better than your class one chargers. Like I said, it is um, portable and it's a um, it's a class two charger and there's nothing not to like about it and i'm also going to tell you this i've got a code for you i'm going to list it down below but also i'm going to tell it to you right now it's evd and then az camera so evd az camera and you'll get a 20% off discount if you order it directly from the website. So thank you for watching. Please watch us, please like us, please share us, and most of all, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Jeff saying happy travels, happy charging, and we'll see you soon.